to do you guys it's your boy studio b from studio b music recording today i'm gonna show you a tutorial on how to drop the beat and make your client go nuts man i've been doing this for like 10 years and this it never stops never fails they always go nuts but particularly on this track what i'm gonna do is actually have a vocal tag within the beat and i want to solo the vocal tag uh, so i want the beat to kind of zone out the vocal tag is there and the beat to creep back in this is how you do it in pro tools stay tuned Okay, you guys, I have a session from Young DV, a client of mine that I've been working with for about 10 years now out of Kansas City, Missouri. He's pretty well known. Uh, he got songs with Tech 9 and um, we did a few mixtapes together, and um, he's really popping here. But uh, here's the vocal tag that I have. It's Studio B, Brandy's voice tag. This is my daughter's voice. Let's check it out. Studio B. I actually use this tag in all my beats now. Um, this is her when she was three years old. She's nine now. So I'm blessed that I was able to capture that. But anyway, first thing I do is um, within the tag, I go to the beat and solo all the instruments that I don't want the tag to cover up. So i uh, select all the instruments from here to the end of the vo vocal tag. And I, what I'll do is hit Control E to break them apart. Oops, here we go. Yeah, let me screw it over right where the tag begins. And I'll hit Command E. Sorry, you guys. Command E and Command M to mute everything. See, it's light gray. So let's take a listen. I'll pull up on a set about to get to Okay, that sounds pretty good, but for the most part, like I said, I want the beat to zone out vocal tag and zone creep back in. So what I do is um everything prior to the studio B tag, I'll select. It's kind of guess from here, you know, you can just play by ear. You don't gotta be too exactly. So what I do is again. I wake everything up, break everything up, and make sure everything is there. And I go to Audio Suite and go to Pitch Shift and go down to Verify. There you go, you guys. It verifies that secret sauce. So I want the beat to zone out again. So what I'll do is I'll select Slow Down and hit Render. And this is going to render all the instruments that I have selected prior to the vocal tag that you see above. So let's hit play and see how, how that works. Hey, 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 hey. I'll pull up on this. You, you guys hear the difference? So let me bring it back. Yep. Hey, 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 hey. I'll pull up on a set. So that sounds pretty good for me. You can actually go in and fine tune it to exact measures and things that how you want it by playing to the grid. Um, for right now, for tutorial purposes, I'm just trying to get the logistics across to you. So what I want to do is creep it back in also. So especially when you say I'll pull up to the set. So I wanted to like the beat to kind of pull up to the set. You know, you know what I mean? Just just watch. So I look at the vocal tag, I see where it ends, and I kind of measure down here exactly where all the instruments are, and I'll select all, all of them. Look, everything. Again, I'll do Command E to break it, and Command M to creep it back in. I mean, to wake it up, unmute it rather. And I'll hit speed up on this verify plugin. And this will creep it back in. And I hit render. Let's take a listen now. You guys hear that? I'll play it again for you. Yep. I'll pull up on a set. So I hope this tutorial helped you guys. Again, if you have any other questions, feel free to write me, subscribe to my channel, and um, 
I'm here to help you guys. See you later. Yep. Okay. Hey. 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 I pull up on a set. About to get to greeting. I just left the honeycomb. I out in independence. Now I'm swinging through the feet.